President Trump will finish his term without his attorney general, William Barr, handed in his letter of resignation yesterday. He praised the president that he had assisted, defended, and occasionally rebuffed over the past two years. Ben Tracy is at the White House. Ben, why is Barr leaving now? Well, with just about a month left until President Trump leaves office, the timing of this is certainly strange, but it's no secret that the president has been unhappy with the attorney general, mainly because Barr has not backed up the president's claims of election fraud. Mr. Attorney General, were you fired, sir? Sources tell CBS News Attorney General Bill Barr was not forced out of his job. His resignation letter is a full-page tribute to President Trump. Barr writes of the president's unprecedented achievements in the face of a partisan onslaught. And Bill Barr should have stepped up. But lately, President Trump has been upset that Barr said the Department of Justice found no evidence of widespread fraud in the 2020 election, a direct contradiction of the president's false claims. Barr also followed Justice Department procedure when he did not reveal a federal investigation into Hunter Biden during the campaign, but it clearly angered the president. Bill Barr, frankly, did the wrong thing. Bill Barr, I believe, not believe, I know, had an obligation to set the record straight. Barr's resignation came after the two met at the White House on Monday. In a tweet, President Trump said, our relationship has been a very good one, and that Barr has done an outstanding job. There was no evidence of the Trump campaign collusion with the Russian government's hacking. Barr has been a loyal defender of the president, famously providing his own summary of the Mueller report in 2019, which created space for the president to claim he had been exonerated, which he was not. No collusion, no obstruction. But Barr has also admitted the president's interference of the Department of Justice made his job impossible. In an interview with CBS's Jan Crawford, Barr did not seem concerned about his reputation. I'm at the end of my career. I've, you know... I've... Does it, but the, I mean, it's a reputation that you've worked your whole life on, though. Yeah, but everyone dies, and I'm not, you know, uh, you know, I, I, I don't believe in the Homeric idea that, you know, immortality comes by, you know, having odes sung about you over the centuries. Now, Barr's last day as attorney general will be December 23rd, and with just 36 days left in the Trump administration, there won't be time to confirm a new attorney general. So the deputy attorney general, Jeff Rosen, he will become the acting attorney general. Gail. All right, Ben, got it. Uh, hopefully that... Bill Barr will sit down with Jan Crawford again. I know she'd love to have another conversation. Really interesting conversation. Yeah, for Catherine Herridge, yeah. A couple of people would like to talk to Bill Barr today. Thank you very much, Ben.